What's up, Padawans? What's up, Padawans? Afro Joe the Wookiee. Ten like a T. I'm motherfucking he is. Afro Joe back ten like it is. I know everybody heard what happened Sunday. I saw this myself and I thought I was I was kinda heartbroken in a way to see Mr. Gawain Sr. pass away by what happened. Everybody heard about Steven Stevens. A child he works he's a caseworker for child welfare. He sits up there and he gets on camera on Look, let me tell you this. For years, I've been doing this for eight years. Talking about what, watch what you say and do on Facebook, on social media. That's all I've done. I've actually sat there for years saying, watch what you say and do on, on the on social media. <laughs> but there's more to this. I sat here and I saw what happened. That this man, Steven Stevenson. About killed this man that has nine kids, nine grandkids, probably some great grandkids, but nothing because Stephen Stevenson, Stephen Stevens, snapped because his girlfriend broke up. And some people say, well, his girlfriend found out he was gay and he didn't like that. Look, I don't know which is his girl breaking up, breaking up with him, or him or his girlfriend found out he's gay. If he, if his girlfriend broke up with him. It makes no sense to go kill somebody because your girl broke up with you. If it's over because you've been outed that you gay, look, man, that makes not just black folks look bad. It makes gay folks look bad. I don't know which is which. He broke. He snapped because his girlfriend left him or he's been outed by his girlfriend that he's gay. I don't know which it is. But it's like this. You killed somebody because you lost it. I've sat there for eight years and both my channels, both of my YouTube channels, I have sat there and said, watch what you say and do on social media because that is your smoking gun. There's been teens committing suicide from blog TV, stick camp, now live, live video from MySpace, Facebook, then it got to Twitter. Now I wonder how far it, it's going back to Facebook again, except it's Facebook Live. I wonder how far it's going to go. Is it going to Snapchat next? Is it going to go to Instagram next? What? I've been telling you, pay attention. Wake up. Stop posting your shit on Facebook. No, everybody want to act retarded. Everybody don't want to listen to Afro Joe. But it's like this. Somebody died over some stupid stuff, man. Over some stupid stuff. I sat here for eight years telling people, wake up. Wake up. I've sat here for eight years telling people, wake up, pay attention, watch what you're doing. Stop posting your business out there on Facebook. And it's getting bad to see. Look, what was it? Two weeks ago, a man went to his wife's job, killed her, killed the child, and killed himself. Over oh, because his wife won't live. If you're going through that much hell in your life that you want to kill somebody, do us all a favor. Go get checked out. Go get some help before you kill somebody. Take somebody's life over something so pathetic. For real. Go get some fucking help. Do not waste. Do not go out and kill somebody. Because you feel like that will ease your pain. Look, man, a breakup is a breakup, man. You can always, look, it's like there's plenty of fish in the sea. You can always replace a, look, it's like you can't replace a loved one. That's like this. If your girl breaks up with you, you can replace a girlfriend by go getting another one. If you're gay and you've been out at fuck, fuck it, except being who you are. There's lots of gay people that can't handle uh, handle coming out. But there's groups where you can go to get help. If you are going through so much in your life, go talk to somebody and get some help. Don't sit there and go out and take your frustration out on somebody because you feel like it's because you feel like it's worth doing. I've been so frustrated. If you look at all my YouTube videos, there's been accounts where I've been so frustrated about situations, but I never went out and took a gun and go kill somebody.
I never took went out there to go get a knife, a gun, a bomb, or anything to go kill somebody because I'm so fucking frustrated. A life is so precious in this world, and you sit there, you take somebody's life because of what you're going through. <coughs> I've had family members die from cancer, die from cancer, but I haven't sat there and thought, I'm going to go out there and kill somebody because I lost my loved ones to cancer. I'm not going to go out there and kill somebody because I'm going through some trauma. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out there and get some help so I can deal with the problem. So I can ease my pain a little bit. But to kill somebody over a breakup, over being, look, if it's over a breakup, you can always go get some help and say, look, I'm dealing with a breakup. I don't know what to do. I'm having these thoughts. I need some help. Go call one 800 suicide line. I wish, <coughs> I wish there was a group I wish there was a number, a place where you can go and say, my girl, I know there's therapy. People say, oh, you could go to therapy. But sometimes therapy don't work for people. Don't work for everybody. It might hurt, help a little bit, but they need to sit down with somebody. And it's like, man, I'm just going through it. Go talk to somebody that's been through something. I've known people. I'm 32 years old. I'm going to tell you this. I'm 32 years old, and I surround my people, surround myself with older people. I surround myself with older generations. You know why? It's better to learn from them, to see what they've been through. So when you go through the same thing with, they went through, then I know what to do next. So I can understand, hey, I just went through the same thing. Hey, okay, hey, can you help me out? And they can give me some information, some advice to ease my pain a little bit. Put my mind on neutral. Put my mind on ease so I don't lose it and hurt somebody. But when you sit there and you go through this and you hurting because you lost somebody you love over what, I don't know, whatever, you can sit there and go find some help. Get some help. Work on you first. Work on you. I know I'm a man just like any other man. But it's like this. Women, let me tell you this. If this is over a breakup, let me tell you this. About you. Let me tell you this. I know men are different from y'all, but our minds are wired different. Our minds are wired different. I'm going to give you a little bit of advice for women. I said, our minds are a little bit different. When we fall for you and we love you with all our heart, and we'll do anything in the world just to keep you in our lives. And we talking about this, we will lay our lives down for you. As a man, you got to think about it. Do I? It's like, oh my God. <laughs> this man loves me so much, but I, I'm not feeling it. How do you ease yourself out of that? For one, go have a seat. Take him to somebody you know or grab one of his homies. Grab somebody that's close to him. Grab one of your man's best friends. I said, hey, can you do me a favor? I said, I'm not feeling him. I don't know how to break up with him. I know his mind is not all there. Can you help me out to ease him out of this so nothing would happen? So he'll know that, hey, uh, I want to separate and regroup. Get somebody he's close to and say, hey, man, look, because one thing is a man's friend can help him get through shit. A man's brother, a man's father, a man's sibling, a man's cousin, somebody that he's close to that can help his mind get through it. Say, man, because one thing is, if he's there, I'm going to fuck y'all everybody up. You just set a bomb off. I'm going to fuck you up and everybody. But it's like this, but for him to go out and kill somebody over a breakup, man, that's the stupid. I remember a video I did years ago. It was right before the Sandy Hook shoot. I remember it like it was yesterday. Kid was 18 years old. He was 18 years old. <laughs> His girlfriend just broke over him, and he went out, and he killed. No, he actually killed the man, injured a woman, and injured a child. Then killed himself because he couldn't take it so well. That shows you how my, a man's mind is so gone. We start at a young age. By the time we hit 18, we love everybody. 
we in love, we happy, we don't know what to do. We get that woman that we want to be with. And then when that breakup happens, you uh, some men can take a breakup. Some men can't. Some men can get to the point where it's like, you know what, I'm going to fuck everybody up. Women, you got to look at like, if you know your man's got mental problems, if you know your man's got mental problems, It's, it's just, it's just, I don't, I don't see, it's just, see him doing this, I never understood. I don't get why would you just go out and kill somebody because of a breakup. I don't get it. Maybe because I've never been in this man's shoes. Maybe I haven't been in his shoes, took walk him out in his shoes. Maybe I haven't sat there and sat in his mind to see what he's thinking. I don't know what he's thinking of. I don't know what he's going through. And I'll tell you this. I remember a story. A guy that was in his late teens and early 20s, he went to a coffee shop, a coffee shop where they did poetry. He commits suicide on stage. People thought it was an act. But they didn't know he killed himself. But I tell you this. I always tell people. <coughs> watch what you say and do on the internet. If you're going through something. Get some help. Get some help. Go out there. And get some help to help you through this. Help you work through your issues. Help you get something that you can help you get through life do not take your frustration your anger out on somebody that didn't have a damn thing to do with you you killed somebody's daddy somebody's brother somebody's uncle somebody's grandfather somebody's cousin somebody's son somebody's relative because your ass couldn't take it Cause your ass couldn't take it And I'll tell you this I bust them I've been through hell and back But I never thought about Taking a gun and go kill somebody I never thought about Taking a gun and go kill somebody I said you know why Because my life And somebody else's life Is just as important I said somebody, else, somebody else's life Is just as, as important as mine Why should I sit up here And take my life Or take somebody's life Because I'm going through Something in my life <clears throat> that I can't handle. If somebody killed my loved one, I'd be mad as I'd be ready to go kill you. I wouldn't kill nobody else but the person that killed my loved one. You killed my loved one, somebody I love. Because I love that person. And they put a fifty thousand dollar bond uh fifty thousand dollar reward on his head. Dude, you you wanted to make look, it's like it's I always tell people. If you want attention, go on YouTube, get your account, and just ramble off at the mouth just to see what people have to say. Just to see what people have to say. Go out there and see what people see what people got opinions is. Don't sit there and kill somebody because you are frustrated. I put that's like and that's how it is. I felt bad when this went down. Killing somebody on Facebook Live. I knew that live shit was going to get somebody. I'm going to tell you this. Y'all need to wake up and realize something. Life is a little bit too short to play around with this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, do us all a favor. Get some help when help is needed. Don't sit there and wait too long. And I'm Afro Joe telling like T.I. is. Tell me what you think about this situation. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow me on... Uh, Instagram, follow, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3, and tell me what you think. I'm Afro Joe, 10 like a TI is. Watch what you say and do on the internet. Take care of each other, love one another, and wake the fuck up, man, because you never know. It might be your last. Live life to the fullest. Don't play around. Show each other love. Stop playing these games. Because it, it could have been you. It could have been you. 
getting killed on that line string. Wake up. Like I said, wake up, people. Peace, love, and apple grease. Love you like a fat kid loves cheeseburgers.